In the mid-1900s, McDowell County was one of the most prosperous counties in West Virginia. Coal was king and the economy was thriving. But since then, so much has changed. As the demand for coal has shifted, the population has dwindled from 100,000 folks down to less than 20,000. The American opioid epidemic has devastated lives and families. It has really hit McDowell County hard. What remains here now is a far cry from the good days our friends, grandparents, parents remember so well. Some people might be surprised that we've moved to a place like McDowell County where there's just not a lot of um, stores around and the roads are just really crazy. Um, but for us, it's just a privilege to be here um, and be able to work with the amazing kids that are here in McDowell County. Um, because the main goal here is just that everyone would get to hear the gospel and we're just very passionate that the kids here in McDowell County would know who Jesus is and what he did for them on the cross. Young Life is a long-term local mission to adolescents, and it's how I met Jesus 15 years ago. In my hometown around Pittsburgh, there were local Young Life leaders spending time at my school and in my hometown in order that they could live life and build relationships beside kids like me and to share Jesus along the way. My wife Faith and I met in 2012 when we were in college, and by uh, 2016, We'd enjoyed four years together of leading Young Life at a local school as team leaders. Unexpectedly, as we started a young family, in 2016, we answered the call to take Young Life to McDowell County, West Virginia, in the heart of Appalachia, because a mission that's for the furthest out kids, we thought should be in the furthest out places. We prayed and fundraised, we quit our jobs and sold our home, and we moved our family to a beautiful place in the mountains of West Virginia called McDowell County. But even as ministry grows, we're asking God for more. In 2019, our goal is to open up a place here for interns from Young Life areas around the state and even around the East Coast to come serve as coordinators for wildlife in the middle schools and for even ministry at the high schools. And here is where you come in. Even though small communities aren't able to support a project of this scale, we know that friends of Young Life and followers of Jesus around the country could stack hands and make this dream a reality. We're looking for folks to help us with funding in order that we can have the supplies here on time for our work crews this year, in order that we can finish this project with excellence, totally ready for the next school year. This has never been done before in a hard to fund area. And we're really excited to be able to take a step of faith and try something new so we can reach the furthest out kids. It's been said before that we should either go ourselves or hold the rope for those that are going. Would you be willing to hold the rope for folks here in McDowell County, for our Young Life leaders that are here working in the schools, for interns that will be coming next year? Would you hold the rope and help fund an incredible opportunity that hasn't been done before. Because one thing never is going to change. Every kid deserves and has the right to hear about Jesus from somebody that loves and cares about them.